Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Moo Starcraft back with another replay, and today we're looking at uh, Tokeru, the blue Terran player. In the bottom right on Backwater Gulch, he is going to be playing our friend Sore Pinky, the red Zerg player in the top right on this map. And uh, this is a fan replay that Sore Pinky sent into us, and uh, we're going to be casting it, giving him some tips. And um, pro tip, GLHF, that's uh, proven to make your game 20% better. <laughs> yeah, and this is gonna be in Typhon Peaks once again. This is a yeah, pretty Typhon good Peaks. map. I think I said Backwater Gulch. Oh, did you? I think I did. That's not what I. <laughs> Sorry guys, I don't remember. Okay, the map yep. Names. Well, yeah. Sword Pinky's on the top right, and Toker is on the bottom right, and uh, Sword Pinky once again sending us the replay. Thanks for him, or er, congrats to him. Yep. Uh, if you guys have a replay that you want to send to us, send it to moostarcraft@gmail.com. We will get around to casting it shortly afterward. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. Alright, so we've got, um, 12 scout, looks like. I guess it was a 10 um, scout. From Sword um, Pinky? From Sword Pinky. He's gonna scout yeah. the wrong position, fortunately. Both times. Yeah, both times before he gets around to uh, Tokeru. By that time, he'll be all walled off. And it's just not good news for him. Yeah. Let's see what Tokeru ends up doing. Uh... He might be pretty lucky if he goes for two racks, but I think yeah. he might grab his refinery pretty soon here. Yeah, 13 refinery. We'll see. He's got um, uh -huh. two or more SCVs and three more SCVs in production. <laughs> center. Yeah. So I am not sure what he is doing. No refinery yet. No. The second ga Second barrack. Yep. Oh, yep. Here comes the second bar barracks. It looks like. And he is going two racks. Going to be pretty good against um, Sword Pinky because he did not scout. He didn't, and he's fast with spending as well. So he's gonna be spending more time on his economy instead of his early pressure. Yeah, if he scouts a two racks, he should be okay. Because I myself can't defend two racks for crap. Yeah. <laughs> me and uh, Sword Pinky were actually he uh, hit me up on the StarCraft two chat, and we played a couple practice games. I played a random. We we played two games. And, uh, I played Rand both times. I got Terran both times, actually. And, um, I did early pushes with Marines, and he was just not able to defend it. Although, he did have really good macro, and he did really well on his economy. But, um, he was just not able to defend it. And I was actually able to secure two fast expansions. Oh, wow, fast yeah. Fast expansion in each game. And, uh... Well, well Tokuru is not going for the aggressive... No, and he is supply guess. locked, but his, his supply depot is almost finished. It is finished. Yep, so that's gonna, that's done now, and uh, he's going to be able to get some more Marines out. He's got his bunker there. Load that up. Maybe oh, he's scared like of he's early like, aggression, yeah. Yeah, it looks like he's anticipating an early push from Sore Pinky. Sore Pinky given a pretty hefty transfer, you know, just to distribute the mining. Yep. And uh, we have noticed that Sword Pinky tends to really oversaturate his um, his bases, even in the games that we were playing. Um, although I, I, I think he does that because when he he's gearing up to take his third, you know, because yeah. when you take your third, you can transfer those workers. Yeah, that's what he told me as well. Um, yeah. When I, he said when I got my second expansion as Tyrant, he got his, he was going for his third, and when I pushed out, and he had so many workers on his. Uh, natural. It was just ridiculous, and I kind of killed them all, but... But, um... Yeah, I asked him about that, and he said he was getting his third. Which I did not scout, so... Yeah, I guess Toku is not going for the aggressive tour axe, just safety tour axe, I guess. Would have been guess. pretty cool to see some bunker play. Yeah, that would. that's always nice to see. Throw down a bunker or two, next to his, uh, natural. Yeah, because two axes are pretty tough. They are. They can be very difficult to deal with. Yeah. As a Zerg player. So he is harvesting gas with two harvesters in each. Probably not want to put the three in because he needs the minerals, but... Yeah. He is banking up at 400 right now. Maybe he might expand? He might. We don't know. It looks like he's moving some units out of the bunker and down to his natural, so it looks like he probably is going to expand. Yep, yeah, Mr. Pinky has an overlord in position, so he yeah. can uh, see the expansion. Oh, or no, he's just pushing out. He's not expanding. And I just noticed, uh, Tokuru, he does not have an orbital command. Oh, he does like, not. And no, he is running into these. He is running into the Zergling at the Watchtower. What is he doing? You should just stop and attack that. It'll take like three seconds. Oh my gosh, this Zergling is doing about here, like 30 just... damage. Yeah. My god. He's actually going to take out that Marine. 
Yeah, and uh, so Pinky is, do is stop an attack, but he's putting three uh, spine collars down, and he does have to evacuate the drones. Yeah, and um, uh, I would recommend that uh, if you're Zerg player and your fence expanded, keep a uh, keep a Zergling down by your opponent's natural, um, just so you can scout the early pressure faster. It's always good to have the watch towers as well. But uh, the faster you can scout, the faster you can get some defense up. It looks like Sword Pinky is gonna be able to defend us all right with his uh, Zerglings. Yep, and no these crawlers just finished. Yep, no workers killed, so that's a good thing for him, for yes, Sword Pinky. Is. And he, uh, Toku has a factory up and three racks. He does. Um, no attachments yet on anything. Yeah. Oh, he's got four Hellions in queue off of his factory. So. Oh, he does. That's quite a bit of minerals. That's a lot of Hellions. <laughs> yeah. I think he, he has, should expand pretty soon. Yeah, he's got a tech light coming down in his, on two of his barracks. And uh, for the stim pack and the combat shields. Yeah. And uh, here comes an engineering bay, probably gonna go for some of those Terran infantry upgrades. Yep, so Sword Pinky uh, is up by about eight harvesters. Uh, yes, he is. Let me find that tab. Alright, yeah, he is. And uh, so, one thing yeah, I would recommend uh, Sir Pinky do is uh, he has all these Zerglings down in his opponent's natural. Uh, I think we talked about this last game, but just periodically run one up the ramp a little bit. Yeah. Um, try not to get it killed. I mean, sometimes it's going to happen, but um, just so you can get a scout. Um, so if you find out he has tanks or Hellions or Marauders or whatever he's got up here, just so you can kind of be prepared for that. Yeah, the tabs, you know, the um, the tabs are pretty different. Because if you look at the income tab, it has 41 to 25. But it, I think I mentioned this in another video, but press Control A for a sec. Yeah, the worker supply. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, so Pinky's got 45 workers, but it says he only has 41 harvesters. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm not sure what that's about. Oh, he's getting, he's morphing in some main lanes. Yep, and he's chasing out the Hellions too. Yeah. Going for the surround. Oh, almost got it. Almost got it, but he's just gonna clean this up. Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, so Sorping is getting centrifugal hooks, main link speed, and uh, concussive shells coming out for Tokeru, along with some more Marauders. Which are yep, be... and the main link has come up and hit the bunker. Yeah, he does load up the bunker full. He does take out a couple of these main links before they get.